I'm just stunned how much of a content platform LinkedIn has become because for a lot of us here, LinkedIn was a utility for recruiting and just reaching out to people. Using LinkedIn is not spamming people on LinkedIn messaging. Using LinkedIn is using LinkedIn the way you use Facebook or Twitter, putting out meaningful content. It finds itself to the right people in that world. LinkedIn organic content. I'm telling you everyone, you will be blown away. You could have no followers, you cannot even have a LinkedIn account. And you can create one, post your first post of three, uh, uh, let me give you a good one. You're in the mood, you're a good, you're a good writer. 21 things to think about in 2021 when designing your website. That's where you title it, you write it. You'd be shocked how many leads come from things like that. But you gotta stay with it, it's like working out. The first exercise is not gonna get it done. Keep chipping away at it. LinkedIn's real good for me because I'm a businessman. It's a business environment and so I think LinkedIn's an incredibly interesting place for deeper, longer form content around business because when you're in LinkedIn and you're in your Tinder moment of business, you're in that mindset. You're in your ambitious, you're in your what you do for a living, you're in your business mindset. You're in a very different mindset when you're on Instagram. And so what I think I'm doing very well that is very subtle is I create content for the mindset and the psychographic nature of what's happening in there, not the demographic nature. Let me expand on that. All of us in this room are the same fucking person. We're us. But when we go into six different apps, our brain's chemicals are different. You know, a, you know, a, Instagram's escapism for a lot of people. They're, you know, checking out attractive people, they're looking for a laugh, they're, they're keeping up with culture. That, you know, you're not acting, this, your brain is not in the same place on Instagram and LinkedIn. Of course. I make content for that reality. Where can you get the most awareness? For the least, LinkedIn. It's really uncomfortable. Now for you, you're so specific that I would actually spend the ad money to target people in the art business. Mm-hmm. And all of you can do that. The ads are a little more expensive on LinkedIn, but they're stunningly targeted. Um, What I like is you've already figured out what works. Some of us don't know yet. Now you turn those testimonials into creative, but find a way to make the testimonial feel less like an infomercial at night. So you have to be, I'll give you a great example. I, I'm gonna give you this one, I think this would kill. Get five of them, three of them, in literally radical candor, email them and be like, hey, we're about to do some LinkedIn content, but instead of asking you to do a video for me, testimonial, I'd like to invite you and four of my other high quality clients to dinner. We're just, I wanna buy you a nice dinner, we're gonna have some nice bottles of wine, and we're gonna talk about the art industry as a whole, and I'm gonna film it, and then do chop-ups, and then put it on LinkedIn, right? Then, as the you know, hostess, you'll talk about macro, but you'll find ways to integrate things about your business, which inevitably will lead to some great quote. You know, Johnny says, ah, fuck, yeah, we used to fuck that up before you. Got it? What is the biggest mistake people make on LinkedIn? Underestimating it. Mm. Why? I don't think, uh, because I think right now, professionally, it may be the single most interesting platform in social and digital and content media. It is, got an enormous audience, Hmm. it has, I mean anybody who's watching right now who's in B2B, if you are not taking your content strategy on LinkedIn extremely seriously, you're making a massive mistake. It should be your number one sales channel. Or B2C content. If you're a health and wellness Even B2C, even even B2C in, in LinkedIn? Correct, this is why I'm excited. If you're a health and wellness influencer, putting out a piece of, content on LinkedIn right now would be just interesting to see what you would get out of it, just to see what people would see because the people on LinkedIn are still human beings. Of course, but some of them will comment, will comment, this is not Facebook, go to Facebook, this is a more professional area, so what, would, what my, do we do? My friend, my friend, when I posted business videos for the first time in 2009, every single comment, all of them, were like, hey wine guy, why are you talking about business? You don't know anything about business, talk about wine. For the last year I've been yelling on LinkedIn and many other platforms that LinkedIn is a really good place to put content. Right as we sit here today, the far majority of people's issue for their business, how many people own their business? Or the CEO, raise your hands. Okay, not that many. You should consider it, it's fun, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but for the people that run marketing or make decisions or influence decisions, 
LinkedIn over the last six months to a year, and I don't know when this algorithm changes and when the supply and demand of attention and content changes, which is what happens to all these platforms. Uh, my favorite place for the last four years, Instagram is going through it right now for all the biggest content producers, especially personalities. The organic decline has just started. It's about to get nasty. A lot of influencers are gonna get a job. Um, <laughs> um, Anyway, LinkedIn right now is going through a Facebook 2012 moment. You right now have a business or trying to build a profile or trying to communicate something to the world, have no followers on LinkedIn, produce content and the organic reach and consumption is remarkably high. It will go away, they always do. It went away on MySpace, it went away on Facebook, it it goes away everywhere. It's supply and demand of attention. So one thing I definitely wanted to get across before I got off here, content, communication not your personal brand, think of it a different way. Your reputation, it matters. A lot of you are still trading on your reputation because you've been doing it a long time. Reputation is getting built at scale in LinkedIn for B2B businesses which have never really had a home for content like they do now and just being obsessed with over bringing value, I implore you to dig into this hypothesis, get educated, and remember when you produce content, you don't have to do video, you don't have to do audio, you don't have to do written word. As a matter of fact, my highest over indexing content on LinkedIn right now is comic strips that I create from the things I talk about in the feed, it's working. GIFs, memes, uh, you know, unemotional about how we communicate. We used to draw in caves, people used to do smoke signals. I do not mind how people, unlike the far majority of this room and world, I do not judge how one wants to consume content. I just react to the truth. And in that truth at this moment, not next year, not last year, at this exact second, there's a huge arbitrage of organic reach within LinkedIn.